I'm Transom, and I'm going to show you or remind you how to do long multiplication or the column method. Yeah, you'll be able to do examples like these over here. So let's start with the first example. 34 times 2. So you have to write these numbers down so that the 34 is on top and the 2 is underneath lining up the the ones put a multiplication sign a line underneath then you multiply the 2 by the 4 and then you multiply the 30 by the 2 to get 60 so the answer is 68 got it okay let's look at another example here 27 times 3 right well write it out again as you did before with the 27 at the top and the 3 underneath. Put a line and then multiply the 1's first. 3 multiplied by 7 is 21. So you write down the 1 in the line and you carry the 2 underneath. Then 3 times 2 is 6. Add on that 2 that you carried and the answer is 81. Okay. Next example, 98 times 5. Hmm. Okay, write down the 98 and the 5 underneath. Multiplication sign in the normal place. And then multiply the 1's. 5 by 8 is 40. So you write down the 0 in the 1's column and carry the 4 into the 10's column. Then 5 times 9 is 45. Add on the 4 and that makes 49. So 490 is the answer. You know. Okay, now let's have a look at 436 times 7. No different, write the 436 at the top with the 7 underneath. And then the first thing you're going to do is multiply the number in the 1's column. So 7 multiplied by 6 is 42. Carry the 4, put the 2 in the line. Then 7 times 3 is 21 plus the 4 makes 25 and then 7 times 4 is 28 plus that 2 makes 30. So the answer is 3052. How's it going so far? Okay, good. Wow, 5173 multiplied by 5. Hmm, big one. Okay, start off by multiplying that 3 in the 1's column by the 5. You get 15, write down the 5 and carry the 1. Then, 5 multiplied by 7 is 35. Add on that 1, makes 36. 5 times 1 is 5, plus that 3 is 8. And then 5 times 5 is 25. Write the 25 at the beginning, 25,865. Woo! Okay, let's see what comes up next. 45 times 23. A two-digit number multiplied by a two-digit number. Let's see. 45 at the top, 23 at the bottom. And the first thing we're going to do is multiply everything through by the 3. So 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. 3 times 4 is 12. Add on that 1. That makes 13. So you can write the 13 in there. Now, because we're going to multiply by the 20, let's put a 0 there and then we can just multiply by 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8. Add on that 1. 900. Add those two parts together. 5 and 0 is 5. 3 and 0 is 3. 1 and 9 is 10. 1,035. You still with me? Good. <laughs> okay, what is coming up next? 68 times 97. Okay, write down the numbers as usual with the multiplication sign and the line underneath. Then we'll start off by multiplying by the 7. The 7 one. So 7 eighths are 56. 7 sixes are 42. Add on the 5 makes 47. Then put a 0 underneath so we can multiply by 9. 9 eighths are 72. So we'll put the 2 down there, carry the 7. 
and then nine sixes are 54. Add on that seven that we carried, and that makes a grand total of 61. So 6,120. Add it to the other part, the 476, and altogether we get a grand total, adding up from the right, six, nine, five, six, hmm, 6,596. Stick with us. 60, oh, 278 times 56. Here we go. Write down the 278 and then the 56 directly underneath. Put the multiplication sign in. Line underneath. Then multiply by the 6 first. 6 eighths are 48. 4 is carried onto the next column. 6 sevens are 42. Add on that 4, 46. And then 2 sixes are 12. Add on that 4. And we get 16. Now put a zero because we're going to multiply by 50 next. And now we can just think about multiplying by five. So five eighths are 40, five sevens are 35. Add on that four, that makes 39. Five twos are 10, add on that three, we have 13. Do you remember what to do next? We then add up those two parts. So from the right, eight, six, Five, carry one, four, five, one. So the big answer is 15,568. Who'd have guessed? Right, now let's move on to a three digit number by a three digit number. These are getting remarkably big and tricky. I hope you're still with us. Write them down as normal with the multiplication sign and then you're good to go. Start off with the 1, the 9, multiply the 9 by the 2, and that makes 18, carry the 1. 9 by 3 is 27, add on the 1 is 28, and then 9 times 5 is 45, add on the 2 is 47. Now we're going to multiply by the 1 in the tens columns, so we put a 0 there and then we just multiply by 1. Well, that's easy. And finally we're going to multiply by the 600, so we'll put two zeros there. And then just multiply by 6. So 6, 2 is a 12, count of the 1. 6, 3 is a 18, out of that 1 is 19. Mm, 6, 5 is 13, out of the 1 is 31. And then we have a big adding up operation to do. So, adding up the, the 1's column, we get an 8. Well, that's a bit of a messy 8. And then we get 10, count of the 1. Out of the 7, the 3, the 2, and the 1. And then carry over to the next column, the, the 1 and the 9, 10, putting 19, and we'll carry the 1, 2, and a 3. What a big answer. 329,308. Wow. Finally, let's look at this calculation where we have three two digits numbers that we need to multiply together. Well, the trick is to multiply the first two together first, and then when we have an answer, a product from those two numbers multiplied together, we can multiply that product by the third two digit number. So here we go. We're just getting the answer for the first multiplication 4536 now we multiply that by that 29 so now you should be familiar with this now keep things as neat as you possibly can keep the numbers that you carry into the next columns as small as possible so you don't get them mixed up and multiplying by the 9 first Getting quite complex here. And hopefully this will help you do the last level of the online exercise. I forgot to mention the URL is below, down here. That's where you go to do the exercise. Anyway, we're getting to the end of this calculation now. The 
could sing you a song, but maybe not. Okay. All we need to do now is an addition for those two parts of the multiplication. Get ready for the big finish. We add from the units, the ones column, the four and the zero makes four. The two and the two makes another four. The eight and the seven makes a 15. Five down, carry the one to the next column. And then finally, the nine and the four make 13. So we have our final answer for the final calculation is 131,544. If you can do that, you are a super mathematician. So try the online exercise. Remember the URL is down there. And don't forget to press the check button regularly to see if you're getting the questions right. Claim your virtual trophy at the end. And then there are lots more activities on the Transom website for you to have a go at. Good luck. Bye. You can find Transom Mathematics at www.transum.org, where you're welcome to use all of the activities absolutely free. Or jump in with both feet and become a Transom subscriber.